Okay, so in today's video, Gabe, I'm going to show you the, the the first step on 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 local ads. So now it's time to go local. Now it's time to start really getting that 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 branding effect in our in our local area. So there's two ways to run a Facebook ad, Instagram as well, but but in this case, Facebook. Go ahead and go ahead and um, go to Facebook, your business page. The two ways that people run ads is one. Option number one is when you is when you go straight into the ads manager, you run the ad and you upload the video there in the ads manager, right? Not here on the business page. You just do everything through the, through the ads manager, which is what we're going to do. But option number one on how people run, run an ad is some will come here and run the ad straight from here. The reason why I don't do it that way is because once the ad is off, the video is also off and it's nowhere to be seen. So, so it's, it's like you're running an ad behind the scenes because as, as people see that ad in the newsfeed, it's coming from your business page, but if they were to go to your business page, it's not there because option one to run an ad is you ran it straight from the ads manager. I don't do it that way because if we're going to spend money on this, we might as well leave that post on the business page forever. Even when the ad is off, leave it on there forever. I spent money on that post. So it might as well stay on the business page forever. Okay. That, that's how I look at it. So option number two is when we go to the business page, upload it there first, and then we come back and run the ad. So what we post here, what we, what we write as far as the text, everything, this is going to be the ad. So the ad is going to live on the page forever, even when the ad is off. So that's option number two is to upload it to the business page first, and then we go and run the ad. And that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to upload, um, go ahead and, and just right there, it says vote photo video right there, create post photo video, click on photo video, just like you would post anything down photo video in green. You see it right there below create, no up above your image. So you see, um, no, the post, your recent post. So right there down. Yeah. Photo video. Click on that photo video down. So this is how you upload a, a, a post. Oh yeah. So, okay. so, like so you're going to upload it just like you would anything else. So let's upload it here. And, and we're going to, we're going to type out everything. We're going to, we're going to make sure that, that there's no misspelled words. We're going to make sure, you know, we write something simple and, 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 and um, attention getting. So we'll, we'll, we'll put that here. And then we'll go back and run the ad. So let's just create the post. And, and, and this is a simple intro. This is always, you know, step one is, is let's introduce ourselves. And, and this applies for any business owner. So whatever business, introduce yourself. Let, let, let your local community know, community know who, who you are. You know, and a lot of times with real estate, what we'll do is we'll door knock or we may invest in some direct mail pieces and, and maybe, maybe send out some direct mail to the areas we're farming. But in this case, a video, Facebook, there's nothing more powerful in my professional opinion. So here you can just simply write something simple. Attention, you know, whatever city you're farming. Um, or, or maybe maybe here's a simple video of, of me, you guys. I'm your local realtor. My name is Gabriel. I just wanted to personally introduce myself and let you know a little bit about my background and why I'm so excited about real estate and why this market is just booming. You know, something like that, something friendly, something simple. Hello, my name is Gabriel. I'm your local realtor. I wanted to kind of just shoot this quick video to let you guys know who I am and introduce myself, right? Something like that. That's, um, hello, my name is Gabriel, and I'm your, I'm, I am, I, and, and, and I'm your local realtor. I'm your local realtor. Um, here's a, here's a quick video of me. Um, just wanted to introduce myself and let you guys know why I'm so excited to help, you know, buyers and sellers in this local area or, or what, you know, something like that. So we'll just write this out real quick and then um, we'll run the ad. And as you write this, this is simply, there's an objective. The, the strategy behind this is to not capture lead, to not get anybody to send us a message, to uh, not even really get anybody to, to, to give us a call. So oh. phone number isn't even important in this one. What we're doing here is we're going to run it to the local area to find our audience. So 
what we're going to do is we're going to simply, again, just introduce ourselves and we're going to rely on Facebook to track the audience, to track those who watch it. Because what we're going to do is we're going to run this and get a few thousand people to view it. Oh, I see. I Out of those few thousand, that becomes our audience. And what we're going to do right when we set this up is we're going to set up a custom audience. So two things we're going to do here. We're going to, we're going to run a Facebook video ad and we're going to set up a custom audience. The custom audience are those who actually watch it. We're going to put all those people in a bucket, AKA a custom audience. And what we do with that audience is we turn around and show them the next ad. Got it. And so on ad number two and on, this is ad number one on ad number two and on, that's when we're going for leads. Got it. This is and just so, uh, so here, it's just a simple video ad to, tr to, to get those who watch it and then show them, show them the next, to get those people in an audience so we can now start to nurture that audience by showing them future ads. Got it. Right? So, so here, hello, my name is Gabriel and I'm, so I, instead of AM, I, um, I am, so my name is Gabriel and I'm your local realtor. This is a quick video of me. I'm here to help buyers and sellers. Oh, yeah. So, so instead of AM, yeah. And I am your local realtor. This is a quick video of me. I, I, I have, I'm here to help buyers and sellers in the whatever area. So something like that. Yeah. Something basic, something simple. Um, not too long, you know, um, and that's, that's why video is so powerful because it's video, first of all, and then, and then it, it makes it a little bit more easier when it comes to the text, which is what we call ad copy. So when it comes to the actual text, if it's a video, most of the time, you don't even have to write that much because my whole objective is to get you to watch it, not to just read my whole story, right? I don't want you to read, you know, five paragraphs. I want you to maybe read two to three sentences and watch the video. You know, so this could be short and sweet. Hello, my name is Gabriel and I'm your local realtor. There's a quick video of me. I'm here to help buyers and sellers in the Los Angeles. Yep. In the Los right. Angeles area or in the Los Angeles County or however you want to name that um, or word that in the, in the Los Angeles. No, uh, I don't know. Los Angeles area. Yeah. In the Los Angeles area. So if you have any questions or, 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 or need anything, feel free to reach out to me. And, and, and that's, again, it's not a reach out ad. It's not a lead ad or anything like that. So it's just simply a video view ad, very specific. Facebook is going to show this to people who are likely to view it. Okay. So, but, but wording it that way is, is perfect. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Perfect. That's it. So now let's go ahead and, and post it, hit the blue one. And then what we'll do is we're going to come back into it real quick. And this, this here is very, very important. And so when, you, when we're going with option number two, remember option number one, one way to run the ad is when you, when you don't post on the business page first, that's, that's option one. We're doing option two and I always do option two. We post it on the page first, but as we do this, we want to make sure that everything is, 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 is perfect. As far as the text, no period, no comma missing. We're gonna okay. we're gonna go back into it and, and, and change the thumbnail or or look at the options of the thumbnail. We want to make sure we do all that first because the moment we go and set up the ad, we can no longer edit. Got it. So we have to make sure that everything is perfect here. So go ahead and refresh the page and let's see if it's uploaded. Yeah, perfect. Right. So now that we have the video up, right? Now let's go back in one more time before we go and run the ad. Let's click the three dots right above the video, the three dots. Let's go into edit. And let's just, um, what we want to do is we want to just make sure that the thumbnail is, is, is the one we want to go with. Cause there's a few, so we'll look at this real quick edit. And so the text is fine. Um, nothing else to change on the text, but what we want to do is look at, um, there's the thumbnail and then the title. Okay. The title, let me show you the title, open up another tab, go to Facebook. Let me show you where, where the title is. You can leave this here, leave that. Yeah. Leave that there. We're going to come back to that. But go to the news feed. Let me show you where the title is. So as you scroll down, go ahead and scroll down here in the news feed. And let's just see if we can find a, a, a sponsored post. Um, actually, this is, this is a good example. Perfect. There's a sponsored ad. There's the video. And right below it to the left, you see signature, logo, 
brand pack. That's the title. Okay. Mm. So the word title is a little misleading because title is above, right? I would think the title is above, but the title is actually below the video to the left. Correct. So below the video to the right, you see the, the call to action button and that's get offer. But to the left, signature, logo, brand pack, that's the title. So that's where your title is going to be in your ad. So go back right. to the other tab. So title right here, again, that's why this part's so important because we want to make sure everything is there before we go and run the ad. Because the moment we go and run the ad, we can't change this anymore. Local so, reader? Oh, shit. What should I think? So the title is, is something, you know, so in the text again, hello, my name is Gabriel and I'm I'm your local realtor. This is a quick video of me. I'm here to help buyers and sellers in the Los Angeles area. If you have any questions, uh, please reach out to me. So the title could be, um, um, it could be something like, hello, my name is Gabriel and I'm your local realtor. You know what? That could be the title. Hello, my name is, hello, my name is Gabriel and I am your local realtor. Maybe, maybe, maybe put that as a title and then just delete it below and just below, let it start at at um this is a quick video of me you know that actually i like it <laughs> yeah 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 so the title hello my name is gabriel and i'm your local realtor and then right below this is a quick video of me i'm here to help buyers and sellers yeah, exclamation mark or no yeah yeah for sure okay. exclamation mark and yeah let's take it out from the bottom perfect perfect actually i kind of like the idea thank you yeah very very cool okay so now now we got that going title we edited the text. Now to the right, click on thumbnail. So now we have a, a few options of the thumbnail. So to the right, you see thumbnail. Uh, to the right. To Above. The... Little up, you see thumbnail, the image, the little image to the right. Your little video image. Oh, okay. To the right. To the right. See, thumbnail. Oh, thumbnail. Now. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, okay. gotcha. So click on that. So right here, now we have, again, they're all, they all look the same. So it doesn't even matter, but, but in the future, again, I know, when, this you is see, ugly, I guess. <laughs> when you see widescreen, you'll be able to see that thumbnail and all that thumbnail is, is a thumbnail. It's what, it's what they see right before the video starts playing, you know, so Facebook just gives you the ability or the option to choose, you know, whatever, uh, uh, whatever screenshot you want as a thumbnail. But in this case, it, it doesn't even matter. So let's hit save. Let's hit save and we're good. We're good. We got the title. We got the text. Thumbnail's fine. Hit save. And then what I do, since this is your quote unquote intro video, this is a good video for people way into the future. As people come to your page in the future, this is a good video to show right away. This is a video that we need to pin at the top. So let's go ahead and click the three dots of the video, three dots at the top of the video, and let's pin, pin to top of page. That way from this point on, that video will live at the top and you can always unpin it. So refresh the page. You can always unpin it, but, but for right now, let's just leave it at the top of the page, you know? So as you start to post more in the future, it'll just, um, it'll just, it'll just every new, every new post will just start to go below it, you know? So that will stay pinned at the top pinned post. Okay. So, um, so now we're ready. So now if you click on it, go ahead and click on it, open it up, click on the video, open it up. So now you see in the top, right, there's the title in bold. Hello. Actually, you know what? We got to We got to edit. We got to edit that comma is off. Right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So let's do that real quick. So that's why this part's so important. Oh, no, no, you're right. You're right. I didn't see that. Sorry. Right. No, no worries, man. No worries. I'm, uh, that's why I'm here to, to be your second eye. Made All right. So, Let's bring that comma back and then, and then we should be good. And then space, maybe space the, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, space yeah, that right. M. Perfect. I think there it's we go, okay. Man. okay. Yeah. Right. Hello. Hello. My name is Gabriel and I'm your local realtor. Perfect, man. I love it. So it's there on the page. Now we're going to go and run the ad. So now let's go to the ad manager. Why doesn't show on the bottom here? The title. Or... Very good. Very good question. Because I mean, it's not just because it's not ran as an ad just yet. So we're going to go oh, run it as okay. an ad and then we'll, we'll see it. Okay. But actually, you know, to tell you the truth, when we go and run the ad, that's how it looks in the news feed as the ad is running. But as we come over here and, and view it again, you won't see it there at the bottom. You'll see it when you click on it. So go ahead and click on it again. Click on it, the video. 
you you see it in this view, you see it in the top right. Oh, I see. I see. You know, hello, my name is Gabriel, and I'm your local realtor. So you'll see it there um, on the page. But as the ad runs in the newsfeed, you see it at the bottom of the left of the video. Okay. So should I be it on Instagram too or no? How long is this video? 30 seconds, I think. Oh yeah, it could it could for sure run on Instagram as well. Yeah, we could for sure run it on Instagram as well. Okay, no problem. So so we'll we'll do both. We'll do both. All um right. So now let's go to business, let's go to the ads manager and let's let's start the ad. So it's there on the page. Obviously, we spent some time there, so that, that's how important it is. You know, make sure that the word, make sure there's no editing needed, make sure that everything is 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 spelled correctly, and then we come over here to the ads manager. Got it. And then so now, the ads manager. All we're gonna do is click on the green button, and we're gonna go create. And so this first one, again, the whole objective is to find our audience, is to find those who watch it for, if the video is 30 seconds, what we're going to do is we're going to create an audience of those who watch it for at least 15. Because for someone here, to, for someone to sit here and watch it for 15 seconds, that's someone that you caught their attention. They might not have watched the whole thing, but 15 seconds is a good amount of time to catch someone's attention. So we're going to now be able to put all those people in an audience and start to show them future ads. Got it. That's what creates the omnipresence. That's what creates that, 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 that whole experience of a person constantly seeing someone, Got it. you know, is because what we're doing is we're tracking them We're we know they watch the video. So we can show them another one. So we're going to go video views on this one, video views. And this is really the only time we go video views. From ad number two and on, we'll be going conversions. Oh, conversions. Yeah. So, so video views is simply for video views. So right here below, don't, no, 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 don't click yet. We go video views and then we hit that drop down. Name your campaign, hit that drop down. And these are the three. In fact, you know what? X out of this real quick. Let me explain this, these, these three titles. Okay. Those three names, those three titles that we saw right there in the drop down are these three titles right here. So, these are our three tabs. So hit that. Yeah. So look at, hit the drop down again. You have, it's wanting us to title campaign, ad set, ad, name this ad, name this ad set, name this campaign. These are the titles. So X out real quick. Whatever we title the campaign is what's going to show X out of this. Go back to the dashboard is what's going to show as the title right there. Yeah. So just like you did with page likes. Same thing. So the reason why titling it, each tab, so now click on the middle tab, ad sets. The middle tab. No, the middle one, ad sets. These are our three tabs. Campaigns, ad sets, and ad, ads. Mm -hmm. Click That's on the third the one. Menu, you're the one you're talking about, yeah. Mm -hmm. Click the third one to the right, ad, ads. Yeah, These yeah. are our three tabs, okay? So you're gonna hear me a lot refer to our tabs. These are yeah. our three tabs. So as we click on the green button, that's what we're setting up. We're setting up these three tabs. But the reason why titling it is so important is because as you start to get a bunch of ads running, you want to be able to look at it and know exactly based on the title, you want to know exactly what ad that is. Because if you don't title it properly, you're going to have to click on it. Oh, what video was that? We're going to have to click on it. We're going to have to go into the actual ad to see what video was when I could have easily titled it. And just been able to look at it right here and know what ad that was. <laughs> so, so for example, click on the campaigns tab and then click the green button. We're going to title it properly. So this go video views. The first hit the drop down. The first title is campaign. That's the tab, the campaign. This one is intro video, intro video. So again, I don't have to click on anything anymore. I could just look at the dashboard and know what ad that is because I titled it properly. Intro video. And in parentheses, you're going to put video views. Oh, I see. I see. Right? That way, again, when I look at it, I don't want to have to click on anything. I want to look at it and know, okay, that's intro video. Okay, that's video views. Okay, perfect. That's it. That's the campaign. That's the title of the campaign. The ad set... What I normally do in the ad set is I'll, I'll name, no, not the drop down, the title. We're only titling. So in the ad set, what I end up doing is titling it 
the area that we're targeting because in the ad set, that's where we choose the demographics. That's where we choose our targeting. So just to keep it simple, I'll just put whatever city. So whatever city we're going to target. And in the way, the way I kind of, I don't know exactly what areas you're farming, but I would, if I were you, I would focus on my backyard. Right. Yeah. Right. So, so the way I kind of do it a lot is I'll have a client target because you have to go 15 miles. 15 miles is the minimum. So what I did, I requested a farms already. Excel spreadsheet. Is that going to help us or no? Yeah, that'll help us in the future, but we don't even need that right now because we're going to okay. create our oh, own yeah, audience. Yeah, okay, no and, and, and it's going to be based on what I'm trying to explain is the fact that a lot of times putting in just your city, like maybe putting in just your address, typing in the targeting, your address. Okay. Because Facebook is going to target 15 miles around your address. So should so I put the address? You don't have to put your exact address right here, but maybe just the city, Culver City. Yeah, Culver, Culver City. City. Perfect. And then the title of the third one, the ad, intro video. That's it. Intro video. And then we hit continue. That's it. Nothing in parentheses. That's fine. Intro video. Continue. Okay. So now we're now we're coming in to the first. This we're still in the campaigns, and you can see it there at the top. Now we have our names at the top. Intro video, video views. Culver City intro video right there to the left. You see that up there to the left. Little le right there. These are the three levels. These are our three tabs. This is where we're, work where we're working out of. So right now we're in, we're in tab number one, campaigns, intro video. So right here, you're going to always hit the special ad category, hit the drop down. You're going to always, always, always 100% of the time, hit that drop down below special ad categories. And you're going to go with housing. So you're always going with housing. If you don't go housing, your ad will get rejected. So you're always going with housing. And then right below campaign budget optimization, make sure that's always off. So there's nothing else. Hit the drop down, choose housing, make sure that's off, hit the blue button. That's it. That's campaign. That's step one. That's the campaign tab. There's nothing else to it. Housing, campaign budget, budget optimization off, blue button. That's it. Now we're in the second step, which is the ad set level. This is where we choose our budget. This is where we choose our targeting. Um, and we already named it. Culver City. So now all we want to do in this case with the budget, there's daily budget. You don't got to go 20 bucks. That's way too much. You can go oh, five right. bucks a day. Yeah. Um, but, but, but the way I do the, the budget is if you hit the drop down for a daily budget, there's daily budget and then there's lifetime budget. So it is exactly what it is. Daily budget, you could change the 500. So here's what I do. Here's what I do. If I go daily budget and let's say I go five bucks a day and let's say I want to run it for the next 10 days. Yes. Okay. There's 50 bucks, right? right. Facebook is going to, is going to spend the, the $5. You're forcing them to spend the $5 every 24 hours. Cause you went daily budget. Right. If you go lifetime, that's it. Um, yeah. So if you go lifetime and let's say it's the same dollar amount. If you go lifetime and let's say our budget's a hundred bucks or 50 bucks, whatever, I'll go lifetime and just set a calendar start and end date. And I'll just say, okay, Facebook, rather than forcing you to spend my five bucks every 24 hours, I'm going to give you 50 bucks and I'm going to give you the next 10 days to spend it however and whenever you want. Right. That's lifetime. So, so I just go lifetime budget, lifetime budget, 50 bucks. And, and when I set up the ad, you always want to set it for the next day, the next day, 6 a.m. So it's always the next day, 6 a.m. Okay. And then the end, the end date, in this case, you can go, you know, let's run it. If, if we're going five bucks a day, but now we, now we changed it to lifetime, but we, we still want the five bucks a day. Um, for, for 10 days, this, that there, there's lifetime 50 bucks. Now we just choose a start and end to end date of 10 days. So 6 a.m., 6 a.m. Actually, it's not July 26. Let's, yeah. um, let's bring that back a little bit. So go till, you know, if, if it starts on the 27th, maybe go till, go to the, go to the, go to the, I don't oh. know, go to the, go to the seventh, go to the eighth, maybe. So if you start it, no, not end. It's starting on June 27th. 
Right. So it's ending 10 days later. So seven. That's it. So 6 a.m., 6 a.m., there's 10 days. There's the same 50 bucks. There it is there. That's it. So now we scroll down and we change the locations. We don't need any of the audiences just yet. We'll do that on ad number two and on. But the, the location, we're going to edit that. We're going to take out the United States and we're going to type in Culver City. Now you can, you can type in Culver City or you can type in an actual address. So X out of the United States, go ahead and X that out. And then um, you're going you're gonna to go people living in this location. Now, if you look at the four different options, those are very, very different. People living in or recently in, people living in, people recently in, people traveling in. Very different, right? Very different type of person. So in this case, we're looking for people that live here, right? People living in this location. So okay. always make sure you go with that one and then type in your location, search locations. You could type in again, you could type in Culver City or you can type in an actual address and, and build that 15 mile radius around that address, whatever. It's up oh, to you, okay. right? Okay. So, so, but, but it's only one, you only, you only need one. So let's, let's focus on just Culver City then. We'll focus on just, just the name of the city then. So scroll down in housing, we're in, we're in this quote unquote special ad category for housing. Okay. So in housing, in this category, you cannot change the age. You cannot change the gender. So when we go on to our next ad, which is conversions and we start capturing leads, that's when we'll put in some detailed targeting and start putting in some keywords. But this one is our intro video. This is our, our hello to the city. Hey, my name is Gabriel. I want to, I want to meet and greet everybody. So I don't put any keywords in this one. Leave it the detail targeting. Scroll down. The okay. detail targeting, we're gonna we're gonna leave open. Off, leave it open. Now, languages, you may want to narrow down the languages. So maybe, maybe just go just go English all. So hit languages, edit, and all you gotta do is hover over everything. So at, hover over the languages. Oh no, oh, okay. Yeah. So hover over that one and then let's go English all. Let's type in edit. And we'll just type in English and we'll hit the drop down. And that's the thing. When you're typing in things, always go with the drop down. Always go with the drop down. It's that way with the city. It's that way with the keywords. It's that way with the language. Type in a couple letters and you'll see a drop down. Always go with the drop down. So scroll down. And so now in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to edit placement. Because with automatic placement, Facebook takes that post and they run the ad everywhere that Facebook is affiliated with. So there's many different parts of Facebook. There's many different platforms within Facebook and, and, and it's all below. So look below, hover over any of these check marks below, scroll down, look at all the check marks below, scroll down. So if you hover over everything, that's where Facebook will place that ad. So as we're on Facebook as, as normal consumers, these are all different parts of Facebook that we end up, end up on without even knowing. So, so, so if hover over all of them, hover over, hover, look, ho hover over them. That way you, you know what, what it is. Hover over, look, those are all the different placements of Facebook. So Facebook would put that everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. But when we're on a smaller budget, five bucks a day is, is a smaller budget. So I don't want Facebook to put it everywhere. I want that budget to go to a specific area. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to, at the top, we're going to uncheck messenger uncheck audience network, very top, go to the top, go to the top, uncheck messenger, uncheck audience network, and then below, leave Instagram, leave Facebook, but we're going to start manually unchecking below. So let's uncheck, uncheck in article. Let's actually, let's go from top to bottom, from top to bottom. Okay. You got Facebook newsfeed, leave that. You got marketplace, leave that. Uncheck video feeds, Facebook video feeds, we're going from top to bottom. Uncheck Facebook video feeds. Yeah, right, the place like that. Down, Facebook okay, video okay. feeds. Oh, okay, so Facebook news feedback is fine, right? Yes, Facebook uh, video feeds, uncheck that one. Down, we're going from top to bottom. Down, uncheck um, um, Instagram stories, Facebook stories, uncheck. Uncheck in stream. 
scroll down, scroll down, um, uncheck search, uncheck in article. Let's okay, go. so now, so scroll back up. So now we have the ad only running in the Facebook news feed and only in the Instagram feed and only in the marketplace. Because people in the marketplace are, are kind of looking for bargains. They're looking for deals. They're buying. They're in the buying mood. That's the marketplace. They're looking for stuff to buy. Okay, right. So, so once again, the Facebook marketplace, what it is again to buy and sell? The marketplace is buy and sell. So in the Facebook marketplace, people put stuff to sell. People are there to look for something to buy. Right. So for us to show our video in there is not a bad place. Okay in the marketplace. Okay. So, so those are the three places. Again, if I'm dealing with five bucks a day, I don't want that money to be spent on all these damn platforms where the majority of the attention is in the newsfeed. I'd rather have Facebook spend all that five bucks in the newsfeed where all the attention's at. Okay. Right. So, so that's why we uncheck everything. We went manual placement and that's where we'll, we'll pour the, the whole budget into those placements, not everywhere else. Okay. So that's it. So scroll down. We click the blue button. That's it. That's step two. That's the ad set level. That's all there is to it. Next. Um, next. Now we're on the third and final step. Intro video. This is where we now have. A, it's an error here. Yeah. Anyway. No, don't, don't worry about none of that. So again, back to the options. Option one is to run the ad straight from here. Option number two is to post on the business page first and then run the ad. And that's what we're doing. So now from top to bottom, we got intro video, there's the title. We got Facebook page, there's your, there's your Facebook page. Go ahead and click on um, connect account for Instagram. Do you even have an Instagram account? Yeah, yeah. Perfect, so go ahead and connect it here. Continue as- Yep. Perfect. So read, what does it say right there? You, you need to, you need access to advertise for, uh, you need access. Okay. That's fine. We'll, 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 um, we'll connect that on the other page once we're done. So hopefully we can get past this part. Um, but yeah, we'll connect it on the other page if, if, if we need to. So now right below it, ad set, ad setup, go ahead and hit that drop down, create ad. And we're going to go use existing post. So again, we could have went option one and just grab the video from your download folder, upload it here, that's create ad. But what we did is we did option two. We put on the page first. So we're gonna go use existing post. Select post right there below. Select post. Click on that button, right? You're right there, right below it, select post. No, select post, the button. Oh, okay, so That's right not. here, you're going to see your post right there, and then you hit continue. And so now, as you upload it over here, that's where you'll see it. So now scroll down, you're going to add button, the call to action. Now, this is, not a, this is not a lead ad or even a message ad or anything like that, but we're going to put a button there just to put a button there. So go ahead and click on add button. And then you're going to simply, these are your different options. Call to action, learn more. Learn more is when we start going for ad number two. And when they click, they go to your landing page and enter their name and email. That's where we'd have to put a link. Watch, click above, get out of the learn more part. Get Click little right there, right there, right there. Stay right here, stay right here, stay right here. As we go to ad number two and on, that's when they're clicking learn more and going to a web page URL to opt in. That's where we need, that's when we need a landing page to capture the lead. Cause that's where the website URL goes. That's learn more. But in this case, we're only going video views. So let's just hit the learn more drop down, and let's just choose anything for now. It doesn't matter. Just go with send message. That's fine. Send message. So they can always click send message if they want, but this is not a send message ad. So don't, don't hold your breath on messages coming in. It's not right. going to happen. So update post. So as you update post, you'll now see the send message call to action button there and you'll see your title. So, so now this is also good to keep in mind. When it comes to the title, 
the title is a good call to action. The title is right to the left of the button. So what you want to keep in mind in the future is as we put a title, we don't want it to be too long. Because as you, as you can see there, the whole title didn't even fit. Yeah. Right? right. So in the future, no, no big deal on this one. No big deal. But in the future, we always want that to be short and catchy. Oh, I see. So click, <laughs> click button to download your free seller guide. Right? Something shorter. But we put, hello, my name is Gabriel. And that's fine. That's fine. No one cares right now. But, but, but in the future, we'll start getting better at this stuff. And, and, and you'll just, I want you to view it this way. That way, you know, okay, that's, that's, that's as much space as I have. I need to put something short and sweet. So um, how about like three words maybe or something like yeah, that? Yeah, huh? yeah, a few words, three, four words, five words the most. Yeah, something short and sweet. But, but, but that's fine for now. That's fine. So now we're going to scroll down. And so this, this right here, click on that red triangle at the top for the, for the Instagram one. Yeah. yeah so what you want to do real, right away also um, is click on your profile, go to your profile. This is super important on the Instagram side. Um, click on your profile picture in the top right. And then over here, we're going to just, actually, it was right there. Click on it again. Click on it again. And it says switch. Switch. Okay. Actually, that's, not, that's actually not it. Not it. X, I'm sorry. What we want to do is just click the profile again and go to, go to settings. No, click on the profile picture again. Go to settings. Edit profile. Click on your profile picture in the top right. No, the yeah, click on settings. And then so over here, switch to professional account right there in the blue to the bottom left, blue. Switch to professional account. Okay, so right here, you're going to go business. Next. Yep. And then you can go next. And then just go ahead and select whatever category. Maybe try typing in real estate. See if that is that if that's there. If not, then you could just go, you could just go personal blog or yeah, there you go. Real estate, perfect. Or real estate agent, real estate services. Oh, shit. That's fine. That's fine. Real estate is fine. You can always change it later. No big deal. But this is super important. Yeah, this is what we did not do um, before. So you here, you don't have to don't don't use my content info. You don't need to put that there. Phone number on social media is not important. People are going to message you on social media before they ever pick up the phone and call you. You know, unless it's on a listing and this person has been looking for a house for 15 years and they can't find every house is sold, then they may pick up the phone and call you. Hey, man, I want, I want this house. But if that's not the urgency or, the, or if that's not the case, then phone number is not even needed. So go ahead and hit done. Perfect. So now we're good. So now let's go back to the ads manager and let's see if that even published. It might have gave us an error because this was not set up first. Um, so that's always go to the ads manager, the other tab. So this is still, let's yeah, go. Yeah, I may not like it because it wasn't ready. Yep. Yeah, that's yep. fine. Okay. So what's so, so important if you're running an Instagram account is make sure that that Instagram account is a business professional account first. And then we come over here and run the ad. So well, I should have. It's not a business. It's not working bottom line, right? If it's not, if it's not a business account. Yeah, it, it wouldn't. That's why it, it gave us a little pause because it needed to be set up that way first. So, so now, now we're good. So now here's what happens. Now the ad is in review, right? So now that's why I always set it to go live the next day at 6 a.m. So we can give Facebook plenty of time to review it, right? And all they're doing is they're reviewing the video to make sure there's no curse words, make sure there's no alcohol in the video, right? That's all, that's all, that's what they're really checking is, is to make sure that there's nothing, you know, that's discriminating, in the video. Um, so that, that normally takes a few hours. And that's why, again, the next day is so important. So here's what we do now, right away. Here's what we do right away. Yes. We just set it to go pub. We just published it, set it to go live. When it comes to video, what you want to get in the habit of right away is going and setting up the custom audience. We want to be able to track those who watch it right away before the ad even goes live. So we click on the three lines at the top left, the navigation bar, and we go to audiences. So this will be our first custom audience. So click on audiences right at the top audience or yeah, right there audiences. And so now we're going to set up a custom audience. So if the video is 30 seconds long, again, maybe choosing 15 seconds would be a good audience. And that's what we'll do. We'll set up a 15 second audience. So create audience, the blue one, create a custom audience. 
and then we're going to go video. And as we go into our future calls, I'll be teaching you more about website and customer list. But right now we're going to go video. So hit next. And then all we're going to do is hit the drop down, choose a content type. And this is where we choose the time. So if it's a 30 second, I'll go 15 second. That's good. You know, go 15 second. And that's someone watching 50% of the video. I can go 15 second or I can go 50%. Same thing. Um, but go, go 15 seconds, the through play, go with that one. Just uncheck the 50. Yeah. Go to the, go to the 15 seconds. That's what we're going to start tracking is those who watched it for 15 seconds. Now choose video in the top, right? The blue choose videos. And all we're going to do is click on that video and then hit confirm. Right. Because that needs to know which one. Okay. Gotcha. Yes. And so the retention 365. Yeah. What is that? Yes. Change that to 30. What that is, is Facebook going to start putting everyone who has watched it in the past 300. Now, again, it, it hasn't even started, but let's just say we were four months down the line. They'll put everyone in this, in this audience who have watched it for the past 365 days. But I don't, I don't want that audience. I want people who, who, who have just recently watched it. So if you saw that video in the past 30 days, you're in this audience. Because someone that watched your video one time and it was 77 days ago, they don't remember who the hell you are. I see. But if I saw you and I watched it for 15 seconds and it was 30 seconds and I saw that 21 days ago, I might still remember you. You can even go lower. You can even go maybe 20 days or 14 days. But let's go 30. 30 is fine. 30 is fine. But but do you do you know what I'm I'm trying to explain is the fact yeah, yeah, that yeah yeah it makes sense yeah what you would you remember me if you yeah. saw one video for a few seconds you know four months ago no but in your experience thirty days it's a good number right you yeah should... thirty days is fine so That's we're gonna wanna... give it an audience name so again just like on the dashboard we give each tab a title we're gonna start giving our audiences a title so this is gonna be intro video intro video. In parentheses, you're going to put 15 seconds. That's mm -hmm. the name of this custom audience. So again, as we go into ad number two, ad number three, ad number four, we're going to always retarget this audience. And that happens in the second level, which is the ad set. So in the second step, the ad set where we chose our budget, where we chose Culver City, right? That level is where we would also choose this audience to target. Okay. Got okay. It. So now we click the blue button, create audience. And okay. that's it. So right away before the ad even goes live, we want to get in the habit of setting up the custom audience right away. Cause I want Facebook to start putting people in this audience for the moment that ad goes live. Right. So now let's take, let's do this one last part and then we're done for this one. Let's click on the three lines on the top left. And let's just take a look at the ad. Let's take a look at what it looks like in the newsfeed. So let's hit the three lines and we're going to go back to the ads manager. You have your three tabs, campaigns, ad sets, ads. Those are our three tabs. So check the box next to intro video, check the box next to the blue dot, intro video, check that box, and then click on the third tab, ads for one campaign. And then all we're going to do over here is we're going to click on edit right below the title. So intro video right below it, click on edit. This one? Yeah. And so all I do over here is just, you know, take a quick look at the ad. Just look at it, what it looks like real quick. Click on edit. And so over here to the very, very right, you got that drop down. Very, very right. Very, very right. You got the drop down right above these images. So scroll over to the very right. Very, very right. You got that drop down up, little up, little up, right up, right there. Perfect. Hit that drop down and then go down to Facebook desktop newsfeed. Facebook desktop newsfeed. Okay. And then now you could take a look at the ad in real time. You know, so now it brings us back to the newsfeed. Scroll down and you should see your ad right below this image. There's your ad. So there's the title, there's the text, there's your send message button. And so that's why, as I mentioned, you know, um, scroll down. So 
as I as we already spoke about a million times, you know, you got the black borders. So just next time, always, you know, hold the phone horizontal for Facebook. Now, this okay. is good for Instagram. That's that's the only reason why in the in the placements I had Insta we we also checked Instagram. That's the only the only reason why we're going Instagram as well is because it's under one minute and it's a vertical video. If this was over one minute, if this was horizontal, we wouldn't be running on Instagram. So it's actually a good thing you did it this way. That way we can run it on Instagram as well. Okay. Right. So, so normally I would do those ads separately. We would do one video here, horizontal Facebook, and then we would set up a completely different ad for Instagram. That okay. way you can see the analytics and, 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 and you can, you can see the differences and, and they're two separate assets. They're two separate ads. Um, but and in this case, it's an so, intro video. So uh, the charge is being set up on Instagram separately when you do that? No, no, it's all one. It's all one. It's all coming from the $50. $50. It's all one budget. Um, but as far as the metrics, as far as just seeing, oh, I see. like I want to be able to, to look at them separately. And so I would normally run separate ads and it's the dimension is, is different as well. Instagram is only vertical, you know, um, so a horizontal video wouldn't, wouldn't, would have not worked over there. Even if it was under one minute, 30 seconds, it still wouldn't have worked because it's a horizontal. So, so normally vertical is fine for only Instagram. Um, so you can, you can do what you want really in the future. You can continue to do vertical and, and, and we run it on Instagram um, or we can just do horizontal and just stick to Facebook. It's up to you, you know, but this is good for both right now. This is fine. Got it. So, and as you can see right there, actually to tell you the truth, when we were looking at it, when we were setting up the ad, it looked like the title got cut off. But now that we're looking at it in the news feed, that's yeah, why I always want to you ask you why, I guess. Okay. Yeah, that, that's why I always like to come over here and look at this real quick because it tends to show up differently. And, and that, that, that's what it did. So now, now, now it looks perfect. Hello, my name is Gabriel and I'm your local realtor. It all fits. Sounds good. So it's perfect. Perfect. So let this one run. Um, and our next, our next call is when we have to, we have to start looking into, into some type of landing page software. Um, because our next call is when we start really going into leads and, and setting up landing pages to capture leads. Um, there's a few things that we have to do before we, we even start running lead ads. Um, we have to set up our pixel we have to set up our custom audiences around the pages. Over here, we set up a custom audience around the video. But but as people land here, this could be this could be good. I mean, download download V. Actually, that's just a V card. I can yeah, take but, this. I can customize this the way I want it. Perfect. So here, our next call is when we put a pixel on this page. Is when we set up the link as a custom audience. And when we also set up the link as a custom conversion, that's our next call. So what, what, do, what do I need to be ready? Next? So what you want to do now is you want to start getting, start putting together some type of seller guide. And I have a bunch of them that you can use as examples. Can you help me? Yep, yep. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm going to send you one link. I have a video on it and, and there's a bunch of different seller guides on it. And, and there's, there's a video of me kind of explaining how to get one set up. And how you can spend maybe 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 twenty bucks and have someone redesign it for you. So let me send you that link and and then and then watch that and and try to try to try to put that together, and and then and then let's chat right after or or if you need help with that, just schedule another call okay. as well and we'll, right. we'll 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 work on it together. Send okay. me. I, I need to work on. It. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So the next step is is to get is to get our seller guide, um, in our hands. That's what we need is a seller guide. Got it. Okay. So I'll send you that one. And then, and then I'll send you this training video here shortly as well, Gabe, and, and, and reach out to me if you need anything. I'll be available. I'll be a message away. I appreciate it. Thank you for, for your yes, help. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have a great oh, by weekend. By the way, it's a pleasure making you as a friend, just so you know. So. Gabe, we're right, right back at you, man. That's why I kind of opened And I hope and... we can have a long time friendship. Oh, and... don't even hope it's, it, we're already buddies, man. Don't even okay. hope you're my, you're my buddy. I, I don't, I don't have anyone out in that area, man. And I'm a few, I'm just what, maybe two hours away from you. So. Yeah. And no by matter. the way, if you ever wanted to, I will give you a tour personally and you know, the inside and you know, a little bit more. about the building. Gabriel, I'm going to take you up on that, man. I'm going to really well, take you up on that. Uh, it seems like your kid, uh, your wife, of course, too. I'm, I'm not saying you personally. 
all of us, whatever, man, I'll, I'll take a trip out there. I'd love to. I still got to take mean, my babies to Disneyland. Like, absolutely. Yeah. That, like we got a lot to do up there. We got a lot of homes that need to go solar out there as well. So I want to come out there. I want to, so I want to have lunch with you. We can work. That's what I was thinking. Maybe we can have a lunch or something. Yes, man. Yes. I, w- I would love to do that soon. Like soon, soon. So Please we'll stay in touch. And, uh, well, anyway, so let's, um, if you don't mind sending me that and I'll work on that today. Sounds okay. good, buddy. Text me if you need anything. Okay. Appreciate it. Have a Thank great you. weekend. Bye-bye.